Welcome back to War Thunder Weekly News. This week is going to be a bit of a short one. Gaijin seems to be going on a bi-weekly basis of when they want to announce all their stuff and then have a week empty. But that doesn't mean this week is entirely empty. There's a few things that popped up in the last minute. First off, one of the store representatives on the forum made a post stating that they plan to have three more major patches this year. And I also made a note at the end not to mention Navy. It makes me wonder if the Navy is going to be not an official patch per se. There's only about five more months left in this year, so it's possible to have some rather smaller patches than usual. Though Gaijin T seems to like to have a three month period in between patches and we so far still haven't gotten a patch recently. Or no mention of a patch recently. We don't even have dev blogs. I'm assuming these patches are going to be a bit smaller than others. What are going to be on these patches? There was no hinting towards. We can assume that at least one of these patches will contain Operation Summer things or whatever type of summer event they're planning to have. They even plan to have a summer event. Like if they don't hurry up with it, we might as well just have a fall event. But anyways, on the note of dev blogs and whatnot, somebody on Facebook took a screen cap of the Facebook dude responding to someone asking about dev blogs and Operation Summer and the reply is something that you could expect very soon. Typically when they say very soon that means it's not just planned but in the near future. I'm really hoping that next week we finally start to see some dev blogs or at least Operation Summer in whatever form it happens to be. Although he could just be talking about the German destroyer that we're guaranteed to see next week because we've been seeing these destroyers on a bi-weekly basis. Also on the note of Operation Summer people have been trying to speculate exactly what is going to be in this and in the past Gedrin has talked about giving up more Chinese vehicles as event vehicles which I'm not too much too much support for because I like the idea of a Chinese tech tree but I guess it wouldn't hurt in the meantime large portion of the Italian tree is currently in the German tree as well so it's it's not too big of a deal I guess a Chinese tree isn't the most important thing. But in the same lieu of that, over on the Chinese side of things, they have actually gotten some dev blogs for vehicles that we haven't gotten yet. Three vehicles. First is the Hawk 3, which is interesting because the Hawk 3 is currently in the game file that has been for quite some time. I didn't actually read the dev blog because it's in Chinese and I was a little lazy to try to translate and everything. But the Hawk 3 isn't exactly a mysterious aircraft. It's a, I think it's a US aircraft. The US only used it slightly and it saw more action in China. They're also getting a, I guess, a special T-3485. I don't know what's special about it because I didn't read the dev blog because it's in Chinese and the Google Translator is kind of terrible and I don't really think there's anything that I particularly need to know. I doubt we'll get this air uh, tank because it's special to China and not to the rest of the world. And last but not least, the Type 69 was announced in China. Uh, I believe the Type 69 is actually uh, heavily inspired by the T-55, but it has its own developments. It would be rather interesting to see any of these vehicles pop up as event vehicles, although it would be kind of strange because the majority of these would just fit into a Russian tree or US tree, and I know for a fact that people like to see vehicles for other trees. I'm expecting something for the Italian tree because when we got Japanese tanks, we got a Japanese bomber in the uh, winter event. But anyways, everything has been quite hush-hush this week. I'm expecting much more greater things next week. You can count on a German destroyer. I'm expecting either the start of dev blogs or in some way announcing some sort of summer event whether it be called Operation Summer or not. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments or concerns, hit me up in the comments. I will get back to you. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you did not enjoy the video, hit the dislike button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I make news videos every week, and sometimes in between the week I throw in whatever. Lately I've been working on a Chinese tech tree. It's quite the adventure. A lot of very interesting vehicles in China during the uh, 40s and 50s. And I like to get those out whenever, really. Plan to have one out tomorrow. But anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day.